So if you wouldn't mind, let's get into like what the different stages are for testicular cancer. Like I know there's zero, one, one A, B, and et cetera. So let's start with, with zero and, and go from there. Yeah. So like you mentioned, you know, three different stages, four if you count stage zero. Um, and if you want to start with stage zero, which seems like the, the logical starting point, that's a, that's a very, uh, a very simple um, type of stage to talk about. So the cancer in that, um, in that stage is actually just in the seminiferous tubules. So those are the small tubules that are inside of the testicle. It hasn't grown into any of the other parts of the testicle. Uh, and then importantly, it also hasn't spread to any nodes. It hasn't gone to any other areas of the body. Um, so you may see when you look at staging, you may see a T, an N, an M, and an S. And so just to explain right up front what those are, uh, the N stands for nodes. So those are lymph nodes that it, the, the, the cancer may have traveled to. Uh, the M is uh, metastasis. But think about that as other distant parts of the body that aren't lymph nodes. So things like the lung or the liver or the brain, things like that that, that are not um, specifically related to lymph nodes. And then the S, um, those are tumor markers, which we'll talk about later on, but those are lab tests that we use for uh, folks with testicular cancer um, to kind of um, define the, the staging and to measure the level of that cancer within the body. So again, for stage zero, this is kind of the, you know, if you're thinking about building a house here, this is, this is the basement. It's just within the tubules, within the testicle. It hasn't grown into anything else. It's not in any lymph nodes and it's not in any other part of the body. And those tumor markers, those lab tests are completely normal. How does stage zero kind of present? I mean, does it, does it present as a lump the same way any of the stages were, would, or is it just incidentally found? Yeah, it can be either. So sometimes people get ultrasounds of the testicle for reasons other than feeling a lump there. Sometimes there's pain, sometimes there's swelling, sometimes there are other things that are, that are going on there. Um, but, uh, you know, occasionally this will present as, as a lump too, but it can, it can present as either one. Gotcha. All right, now let's talk stage one. There's 1A, one 1B, one and 1S. Yeah. So again, this is, you know, this is kind of the first floor of the house now as we move up. This is a more common type of, uh, of, of stage of testicular cancer that we see uh, in folks. But let's so let's break this into the three different categories. So it's it's a little bit more advanced than um, stage zero. So it's grown beyond those seminiferous tubules. So it's outside of the, the small tubules within the testicle, uh, but it's still within the testicle itself. So it hasn't grown. It hasn't grown outside of the actual testicle. It hasn't grown into any of the other uh, the other lymph nodes or the blood vessels or anything like that, and it hasn't spread to any other parts of the body. So think about this as T zero, but now the tumor's just gone beyond the the seminiferous tubules, the small tubules with inside the testicle. So that's one A. One um, B is just kind of the next step beyond that. So now it's grown outside of the seminiferous tubules. It's grown outside of the testicle itself. Uh, but it still hasn't grown into any any blood vessels, any lymph nodes, or anything like that. So it's still just within that 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 scrotum hasn't grown anywhere else, and those tumor markers are still normal. And then for one S, so this is a little bit different. So um, it's grown outside of the testicle, um, but in some cases it actually hasn't. So it's either within or without the testicle. Um, it hasn't spread to any other parts of the body. But in this case, actually, the, the tumor markers are abnormal. So those blood tests that I mentioned before, um, those, one of them, one of the three that we normally use um, is higher than one. So that's 1A, that's 1B, and 1S. So again, it's just kind of one level up from that, that stage zero. Gotcha. And then stage two, we've got 2A, 2B, which was what I was, and then 2C. Yeah. So again, these are becoming a little bit more, a little bit more common now. So as you mentioned, that was you know, that was the stage at which you presented. And normally we see folks that present with a mass and then there are some tumor marker abnormalities as well. So now we're kind of getting into the area where, where most folks will sit. Um, so for two, again, there's an A, a B, and a C. So instead of a C, instead of an S, now there's a C at the end here. Uh, and the reason for that is will become obvious in just a minute here. So for 2A, um, the tumor may or may not be within the testicle. So again, it's kind of like that one S that we just mentioned. Um, it spread to uh, one of the other lymph nodes within the body. So at least one of the lymph nodes. So at least one, but less than five. 
So it's kind of in that one to five range. Uh, none of the lymph nodes are larger than two centimeters. So there's a size criteria here. Um, it's not spread to any other parts of the body. So it is not metastasized to the liver or the lungs or the brain or anything like that. Um, and the tumor markers can either be normal or one can be a little bit high. So staging for testis cancer is a little bit complicated. As you can see, as I'm talking through these, there's, there's a lot of information that goes, that goes into this, but just think about this as one step higher than that, that stage one. Now your tumor markers are high and there's some lymph nodes involved. So that's usually how I like to think about the, the one A's. Uh, or sorry, the, the, the two A's. Um, the two B's um, are similar. Again, it may or may not be in or outside of the testicle. Uh, now the lymph nodes are a little bit larger. So instead of being two centimeters or, or smaller, now they're larger than two centimeters, but they're anywhere from two to five centimeters. So they're still in kind of that intermediate range. Um, it hasn't gone to any other parts of the body, so no metastasis. Um, and then uh, at least one tumor marker may be abnormal. So the difference here between that 2A and the 2B is really the size of those size of those lymph nodes. For 2C, um, we're just kind of going up in lymph node size again. So again, everything is very similar um, between 2B and 2C, uh, except for the size of that lymph node, which is now greater than greater than five centimeters. So now you're dealing with some, you know, some relatively bulky notes. Okay, so that's that's um, stage two. Again, it all has to do with those the sizes of those lymph nodes. And then for stage three, we've got three A, three B, and and C, just like two. Um, so what is it like a um, size component with those two or? Yeah, so it's a little bit different for, for the stage three. So now we're talking about more the metastasis. So going to other areas of the body. So stage three A, the tumor may or may not be in, you know, inside the testicle or uh, protruding out from the testicle itself. It may or may not have spread to, to other lymph nodes, but it has metastasized to some other area of the body. So some other area has some tumor there that you're able to see on imaging. Um, and again, with the tumor markers, they may be normal or one or more may be up. So again, this is more about that, that metastasis than it is about the lymph nodes now. Um, the same thing with, with 3B. So 3B, uh, the tumor um, has, has uh, metastasized somewhere else. So there's, there's two different variations, which is where it gets a little bit uh, confusing here. There's also two different variations for, uh, for stage 3A. Um, and this, this, is where, this is where it gets confusing, and I want to make sure everyone is, is clear on it. So for, for 3A, it's an either-or. So it either has metastasized to some area of the body, or it's spread to multiple different areas of the lymph nodes. So it's an either-or for both of those. And if we, if we work up from, um, you know, from stage 3A, um, the tumor marker levels also go up. So for, for all of these stage 3s, now the tumor markers are much higher than So they're elevated well beyond what they should be um, in a person without testis cancer. So thinking about this, um, you know, think about A, B, and C just being wider spread disease, more metastasis to other parts of the body, and more involvement with lymph nodes, although there's not necessarily a requirement to have spread to a, a lymph node as long as there's metastasis somewhere else that can classify you as a 3A, B, or C. Gotcha. Okay. And then notably for testicular cancer, there isn't a stage four uh, like most other cancers. What's the reason for that? Yeah, the reason is that the, the, the complexity within each of the levels for the, these um for these testis cancers is very high. So as you as you saw, as we were just discussing here, I mean, it took me a, quite a while to explain the differences in each of these different levels. And other tumors, other cancers um, tend to be a lot cleaner and a lot easier to define those different levels. And they split them up rather than having a, you know, an A, a B, and a C. It's more defined as just, you know, here's stage one, here's stage two, three, and four. So there's no stage four because you've already gotten all the way to the, the maximum amount of disease by the time you've gotten to, to stage three. 